Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I had a question that was given to me in an email. It was a really interesting question and I've been pondering about it for about two or three days before I thought I'd make the video. And the question is, what happens when the likes of Libra offers money transfer solutions natively in their apps and off apps? Uh, do the current MTOs go out of business? You know, they said there are over 2 billion Facebook users, there are over a billion plus, I don't know, Instagram or WhatsApp users, etc. And when you and Messenger users and, you know, if you introduce money as as easy as sending a message in, in, in such services, do the existing money transfer operators go out of business? Very interesting question. Um, you know, I think in the long run, and we have to understand what the long run is, I think in the long run, money transfer operators as a business might not exist itself. It might take a new shape, way or form. Uh, maybe nomenclature will change or the taxonomy will change and it will be called by something else. But I don't think money transfer as a business will exist after a, maybe a decade or so, or maybe two decades or so. The reason is, I think it's just like, you know, there will be eventually large players and movement of money will become so economically cheap that making money in sending money will not be something viable. So, you know, right now it may be that, you know, let's say if I were to, if I were to give you an analogy, you know, it's like the uh, internet service. So when the internet service was probably started in some small country in Africa or some small country in Asia, etc., it was probably very expensive. But as time grew, more and more data connectivity was made, more and more fiber and microwave links were put in, and the cost of per movement of per GB or per megabit per second or, you know, whatever, or it, at that time was a T1 line or an E1 line, it came down. I think the same thing is going to happen for movement of money transfer because of the crypto rails, because of the new electronic rails, because of how the world is so connected and the players having an advantage that the traditional money movement that you were doing between let's say the United States and Ethiopia or the United States and Kenya or Nigeria and you had that advantage, I think it will evaporate. I don't think so there will be money in moving money between these two countries or other two countries. There may be some countries where, you know, there will still be some rates, etc. Maybe you have to move money from Gambia to Bangladesh. That may have or prescribe a half a percent rate or a one percent rate and so forth. But what is the realistic volume or transactions that will be going between Bangladesh and Gambia? Probably very low, not enough to put you in or sustain you in business. Going forward, I do feel that the likes of Libra or whatever their successors may be or whoever they morph into will have an advantage over traditional MTOs. And I also feel that MTOs will have a huge advantage over Libra and whatever you know networks prop up because they have already been in there. It could very well be that some of these networks would be absorbed, i.e. they would buy them in. It could very well be that these networks could very well say, you know what, I'm not going to go and establish myself in 20 countries in Africa or in Asia. I'd rather just go work with 20 MTOs over there because they already have the, reg the regulatory licenses, coverage, uh, network, understanding, payout, they're connected to the hyper-local payment systems over there, etc. And I may not have to do all that. I'll just go into the top 20 countries and the remaining countries, I'll just work with existing MTOs. That could very well be a solution. But I think anyone who is assuming that the fine writing on the wall, you know, which says nothing lasts forever, you have to understand that you have to read that message. Nothing really lasts forever. And at some point in time, this business, you know, you'll be out of business. You know, in the early, in the late 1800s or mid 1800s, there were probably some very, very good buggy whip manufacturers or makers, you know, in, in, in northern uh, in New England, etc. and so forth. And then when the Ford Motor Car Company came out with their car, the Model T, etc., you know, slowly and slowly horses were dying off. And had you looked at it in, I don't know, 18, 1840, 1850, 60, 70, 80, 80, 90, you know, and you said, you know, we'd be out of business tomorrow. They would have laughed at you, saddle makers, coach makers, you know, they, all those guys. And yet they did go out of business, absolutely went out of business. And today, you know, you have at, at some point in time, there was some guy who had a diesel engine and he's really good at a diesel engine. And he spent all his life fixing diesel engines or petrol engines, etc. 
But one day you and I know now, because we are we are chron- chronologically it right now, uh, that he, that person will go out of business because electric cars will take over. So I feel that, you know, at some point in time, these MTOs are going to go out of business like with everyone else. Maybe banks will go out of business. Maybe money will be so decentralized that we won't need, you know, like uh, Bill Gates said, you know, banking is necessary, banks are not. Maybe we'll have, you know, like emails are necessary, post offices are not. You know, I think we may just end up being in that scenario where we will have access to payments, but we don't need a bank or an institution to do it. There's, there's some underlying fundamental institutions that make it happen. Uh, I think the same thing would happen with, you know, money. The money will just happen. It will move. We'll be able to keep it with ourselves. We may not need a bank. We'll have some officiated custodians to keep it. Uh, albeit I really doubt that banking is going to go away anytime soon. Uh, but the money transfer operators, the money transmitter, uh, you know, the whole thing about uh, money service operators, etc. I feel that we are now in the last run, the last decade run, right? So we'll probably have a last run at it. It'll probably last maybe 10, 15 years. But I think after that, the competition is going to be huge. And you can look at it. MoneyGram is a, a typical example. Express Money is an example. Travelex is an example, all the other, you know, companies that have come and gone and these companies are basically going down the tube and they're finding it very, very hard to sustain themselves, no matter what mismanagement, call it whatever. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, trying to send money today across is becoming easier and easier and there are more viable alternatives coming up. And as a money transfer operator, this is why I keep saying you need to start gravitating yourself into the digital realm. You start need to start becoming a neo bank. Need to start offering more services. I did a 12-point pivot video, which you can see over here. It is very essential if you're a money transfer operator. But like I said, I think there's no doubt in my mind that somewhere down the line, I don't know if it's 15 years from now or 20 years from now, MTOs would be a minority. It will be uh, these networks that are coming up, the new digital networks, the new digital rails that are coming up for payments, etc. And on which the new platform, payment platform and movement of money and monetization, you know, uh, um, uh, encapsulators are being built will really, really change the way we see and play and interact with money down the road. It will, your traditional unbanked people will also become banked or also have some sort of, let's say, access to digital money. They may not be banked, but they will certainly have access to digital money because they already have access to a digital phone. And, you know, they will be financially inclusive whatever that means in various terms and geographies, etc. But they will be financially inclusive and they will be able to transact money. So down the road, I feel the likes of Libra and the others will make the MTOs go out of business. But that is still at least, in my opinion, 10 to 15 years away. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd like to hear your argument and your viewpoint. If you have a business inquiry, there's a contact form in the description below. Please fill it out. I'll be happy to get in touch with you. There's also a business WhatsApp down below and you can contact me through that also. Anyways, till next time, this is Faisal Khan signing off.